Awesome. All right. So what is capstone? Um, basically, every senior needs it to graduate. So there are requirements um, through ABET, which is the engineering accreditation um, leg that, that works with universities. And so they're the ones who set up all the requirements and a senior engineer or an engineering student cannot graduate unless they do a capstone project. Um, once our projects are identified, we have an open house uh, and I'll go into all of this more. This is just an overview, um, which is kind of like a career fair meets speed dating where uh, sponsors meet students, students meet sponsors. We try to, you know, make those happy matches. Um, and then we move on to design day, which is at the very end. Of course, there's a lot in between open house and design day, but it's a celebration of everything that the students have achieved um, from day one. And then they have, there are a bunch of judges who, um, who handle their grading. They, they give them evaluations for grading as well as for cash awards. So why sponsor a project? Um, recruitment is one of the main reasons that most of our sponsors get involved. Uh, prototyping, especially for small businesses or startups, um, that can be a huge cost. So utilizing student talent um, is a great way to get something for less money than you would on the open market. Um, you will get about 1,500 to 1,800 hours of student work time, which in the real world, that would be about, depending on the engineering firm and, and the cost, anywhere from a quarter to a half a million dollars worth of value, uh, all for the bargain price of $6,500, which is our startup price. Um, industry is $10,000. So along with that, though, you're saving a ton of money, but there is a, a set um, protocol, a set curriculum that the students are following. This is for a course. And, and so a lot of startups um, want to just jump ahead and have them start, you know, doing everything, but they do have to follow a certain process. So that's one thing to keep in mind um, that some of our, our smaller businesses or our startups have trouble dealing with. Um, and I can answer questions on that. University engagement. Some companies get involved with it simply because they went to U of A or they're located here in Tucson and they want to be engaged with the university. And also marketing, um, you know, we showcase our sponsors. We, um, at design day, you know, the students will be there. They're wearing shirts typically with the, the sponsoring company's name on it. Um, so it's, it's a way to get the name out there. Um, your team would only be five to six students. However, every student within the program will have seen your name um, as well as everybody all of the other sponsors who are dealing with it. So it's a great way to, to get word out there about your company. Um, so onto the process a little bit. Uh, the first step is to identify a project. Um, project scopes do need to include something that the students would design. So that's the whole purpose of this is for them to, to learn the design process from start to finish. So it doesn't necessarily have to be physical. Um, we've done projects where they change, um, they, they work on existing processes to make them more efficient, um, or they've created apps, um, software, various things like that. Uh, one caveat I will mention there with the software is software engineering is a new major for us. We just brought it on last year. Uh, we only have one software engineering senior this year. So um, obviously that was a, either a transfer or they switched majors. Um, so we don't have a ton of software engineers. However, we have computer engineering, which is where a lot of the students um, have come from who have done these projects before. Once the project is identified, um, it'll be submitted into our EDPM, which is our engineering design program management. And it's basically everybody uses this system. Uh, our sponsors submit the projects in there. Our students are all registered in there. That's where they 
view the projects. That's where they, they have an opportunity to vote for their top projects. Uh, they'll be assigned their projects in there. Um, when it comes time for design day, all of the award submissions and judging um, are all processed through there. So it's kind of a, a catch-all for everything that we do. Uh, once a project is submitted, as I mentioned, we have that open house, um, which is we do a, a sponsor breakfast um, in the morning where we go over basically the expectations of the year. And then from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., it's it's an open house for the students to come in. Um, of the five to six students that are assigned to a team, the sponsor has the opportunity to invite two students. So those two invitations um, are sent to the students. They have the opportunity to accept or decline. There are also two alternates the sponsor will select. And if, if a student declines an invitation, it'll roll to an alternate. Um, and then the remaining three to four students are assigned based on the majors that you've requested. So when you go through the project submittal process, it'll ask you what majors you feel would be uh, best suited to the project. So those majors, um, as well as it takes into account how the students have voted for the projects. And then we have a custom software that does this whole magical matching. And last year, 89% of our students had one of their top three projects. So you're with students who are very well engaged. And then lastly, they go to work. Um, and this is a really fast process. School starts on August, I think it's the 22nd this year. Um, their first class is actually on August 23rd. Open house will be on August 24th, and we will have all the teams assigned by the following Monday. So it's a really super quick process that uh, we get through, and so the students can get to work. Um, on the time commitment from you guys uh, is for the, the project, there's the open house, um, which, again, for sponsors, we start with a breakfast. So it's from about 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. And that'll be, as I mentioned, on August 24th. So if this is interesting to you, you might want to just pencil that into your calendar. And after that, it's approximately an hour a week. So the way it works is each team is assigned a faculty mentor. And that person has about six teams that they teach. So that faculty mentor is the one who teaches them the whole design process. They help them with any questions that they have. They also act as a liaison if needed between the students and the sponsor, if there are any issues or communication problems, things like that. Um, at the very beginning, you may end up spending a little bit more time as the students work out the proposal and they're sending it to you for feedback. But once things get rolling, which is usually within the first few weeks of school, it's about an hour a week. So, and that's, you know, either meeting time. Um, some sponsors prefer that the students work in their space. So they obviously see them a lot more. Um, I will say that the sponsors that dedicate um, more attention to the students get more out of the projects than those who kind of stay hands off. Um, obviously, the, the more feedback the students get on their progress, the more likely they are to achieve whatever goal has been set forth for them. Um, there are milestone reviews throughout. Um, there's a preliminary design review, a critical design review, um, the ISR, I can't remember which one that is, and then the final acceptance review. Those are all things that you are invited to. They happen during a class period, which those are Tuesdays and Thursdays from 4 to 6 p.m. Um, I don't know the exact dates yet for, for the upcoming year, but you're invited and they basically present what they've done up to that point. And most of our faculty mentors bring in their own panels as well of other engineers that help provide feedback to the students. Um, you know, if they've run into a problem, they can help them with um, problem solving. If you know, they may not have thought of a way to do something. It's a great opportunity for them to, to hear from people in the industry. 
And one thing to note, all of our, uh, the majority, I should say, of our faculty mentors are industry. Um, we feel that most academics just are not aware enough of what goes on in industry and they're not as up to date. So we actually bring in, most of them are retired, some are still active in industry. Um, and those are the people that are, are giving their time to teach the students. Um, and then lastly, design day, that'll happen on May 1st of 23. And that's a whole day. Um, we literally start at 6 a.m. and go till about 5 p.m. Um, it starts with a, uh, a closed session. The students will come in and set up their projects. Our judges will walk around and ask them questions about their designs. And um, they've had an opportunity to watch um, video presentations prior to design day so that they can jump right in and ask their questions. And from there... Um, we open to the public and anybody can come in and check it out. We get a lot of high school students um, coming in. We get a lot of people from other parts of the university. Um, people, a lot of people from the different companies will come in. So uh, especially if you're a startup that your end goal is potentially to be acquired by a larger company, uh, this is a great way to, to have those larger companies see you. Um, because they come and they check out all those projects. A lot of them are our judges as well. So on that day, you can just be there as a as the sponsor, just kind of checking things out. Um, you can volunteer as a judge if you'd like. Lots of opportunities. So a little bit about the timeline. Uh, projects are due. Oops, I forgot to change this from last year. My apologies. Um, so make that 2022. Um, we prefer to get them in the system by the end of July. However, that 8.15 is our absolute hard deadline. The open house event, I'm so sorry, I totally forgot that I had dates in here. Um, as I mentioned, is 8.24 of 22. The student voting will end, I believe it's on 8.28. Just look at it kind of as the... <laughs> as the general timeline, forget the dates. Uh, projects will be assigned the, the beginning of that following week. Fall semester work will then begin immediately after that. Spring semester work, uh, again, right after the, the holiday break. And then design day, which will be 5-1 of 23. Um, so there is my information and uh, I'll leave that up for a minute just in case anybody wants to see it um, or wants to write it down, but open for questions.